Okay, well this is my uh, second video using an iPhone for the camera. And uh, we'll see how this turns out. But this is another one of these uh, little pulse motors that I'm using uh, one of these battery operated uh, door or window alarms that you get at the dollar store. They're a dollar. And they come with three button cell batteries and an oscillator circuit with a reed switch that turns its uh, oscillator on and off in a little piezoelectric speaker. And uh, the last video, all I was using was the uh, bifiler coil in it and a completely different circuit. But uh, this time around, I decided to try to take the whole oscillator and rewire the whole oscillator to make the pulse motor work. And uh, it actually uh, can be done. I had to take the reed switch that was in there off. It was too weak. And add another reed switch. And then I put an LED where the piezoelectric speaker was. And then I've got a radio here so you can hear what it sounds like. I'll turn it on here. And that's the sound of the oscillator. Only I've got an LED on it. And you see it pulsing with the camera there. Now what I've got here is a reed switch so that when the magnet goes by it, it pulses. And the reed switch is attached here at the primary on the bifiler coil. I'll speed it up a little bit here. But anyway, that's uh, making a pulse motor out of one of these uh, dollar store door window alarm deals. There's actually a, a magnet over here on the uh, side here that you can take the magnet and actually make a rotor using just the one magnet and probably uh, make the pulse motor out of that whole thing. You wouldn't even have to make a a special rotor uh, with other magnets. You could probably just use that one magnet somehow and make a rotor. But I thought that was pretty cool just to take that whole thing and make a, a, a pulse motor out of it. And this is just a rotor here uh, sitting on a needle. And that's uh, just a plastic lid with four magnets on it and then a brass screw for the needle to run on and it just sits on that needle and runs around and as the magnet goes by that reed switch right there it uh, makes and breaks the primary on that coil. It's a bifiler coil very similar to a Bedini coil and it makes and breaks the uh, primary on the oscillator circuit. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. thought I'd share it. And this is the second time I've used this iPhone as the camera. And it's an iPhone uh, 4S that uh, my wife gave me. It was a hand-me-down. They were going to give her $13 trade-in on it. So I said, you know what, I'll just take it. <laughs> I'll use it for videos. And it works pretty darn good. Thanks for watching.